Right, so I do not have a brew, I have a Spitfire. This, by the way, YouTube, is not a product placement. I'm not getting paid for it. Stop mother trucking, banning, well, stopping my videos from monetization. I don't, it doesn't bother me too much because I don't earn enough from it that, that it really matters, but they don't seem to be very, I don't know, there's no consistency with their mother trucking ad thing. Like, either ban them all or don't ban any. Stop being such a bunch of idiots. Like, if I feature, a, like, a something other than anything else, they seem to ban it. Like, the video I did yesterday of Sniper Elite V2, they ban... Well, they stopped that from monetization for so, like, so no reason whatsoever. Yet, my Walking Dead video was absolutely fine. Like, what is the what is the difference between those two videos? They're both featuring gameplay. I just don't understand it. There's nothing in there that, that could potentially be copyright. Well, apart from the gameplay itself. And if that's the case, then all gameplay is the same. Same with Call of Duty that people upload and then monetize. I don't quite get it. I had one other, another one. I had Skins Brewery stuff in it and they stopped monetizing it. Anyway, run over. Um, but <coughs> Cheers. Anyway, yeah, Spitfire. Bloody good stuff. Um, bloody oh, so good. No, YouTube. I'm not being paid to feature this product. I don't have enough viewers for that. Bastards. Anyway, it's been a glorious day. And I've been stuck inside for the whole effing day. I'm not happy, really. I'm in a crappy mood because I've been sitting in an office in a shirt and trousers. And I went out for an hour for lunch. And it was blown bloody hooly. And then I come out of work and then I'm sweating my arse off uh, walking home. So I'm not really that happy because I didn't get any time to spend out in the sun. It's been a really dead day, nothing's happened, and I'm just bored, really. But that's that. <laughs> that is kind of that, really. Two news items to... Well, three, probably, actually. The big one... Well, I said the big one. The key one, I suppose, is the Google thing, Google Doodle, which is up there. Thank some funky shiz. This is Robert Moog who created that funky instrument. Um, yeah, that's kind of it, really. It's quite a funky doodle. I'd quickly look at it before um, Google take it down. Um, because no doubt they will within 24 hours, so, uh, yeah, go and have a look at that. So the big, like, well, it's probably, like, the highlighted news was, um, the, this article by The Register, um, I'll put a link in the description below, uh, basically, well, the headline, I'll read the headline, Facebook IPO plunge sparks tidal wave lawsuits. Basically, um, Facebook went to IPO and it started out, uh, I'm currently looking at the charts, like, a tan over 40, um, 40, um, dollars a share. Something like that. Um, I'll put a, a graphic up there from Google Finance. Um, so they started at this big, you know, huge, you know, flotation for something ridiculous, under an eighty-one billion or something stupid, and they've plunged off the precipice and they're going down and down and down and down and down and down, as you can see up here. Um, they're now at thirty-two ten, <laughs> so they've they've dropped more than ten dollars a share. Since they 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 publicly went to market um, on the Friday on the 18th, I think it was. That is effing ridiculous. Now, it being a big company, it's gonna attract loads and loads of um, of people, and it's obviously going to um, it's gonna lose a lot of money because that's what happens when an IPO comes out. There's all this hype about it, and everybody then like jumps on the bandwagon, and then once everybody's done that, price comes down, <coughs> and that's that. But, and here's the thing, um, there was a, a what um, the register are claiming is, or not what the register are claiming, the register are citing Morgan Stanley and the claim that they, or the valuation they put on the company in the first place. Because it is them that then set the initial uh, share share price, and that's, and they're kind of, there's this, there's a document that's, that's like kind of out, out there, but only to select ears and uh, eyes even and they've kind of um yeah not made that public enough and so there's a lot about it really um but yeah it's um it doesn't surprise me to be honest um also another thing which really was weird this is a picture right of mark zuckerberg and his new uh well, i was gonna say wench then but i've been told off for saying wench too much so or saying wench at all he's him and his woman um, how out of place do they look? I mean, seriously, how out of place do they look? I thought when I initially like saw the picture, I thought it was an Asian bride type deal. Like, oh, um, you know, Zuckerberg's like bought a wife. Then I find out that actually she's American 
and she went to MIT, this, that and the other. And I was thinking, well, hang on a second, let's just back up a minute. Facebook's just gone to IPO, or, you know, not, not gone to IPO, just gone to market. And Mark Zuckerberg is now f just suddenly got married to this random woman that, well, I didn't know about. I mean, it could have been quite common knowledge, but because apparently they've been going out since, like, early 2000s or something stupid. I'm like, really? Well, not early 2000s, but they've been going out a long time anyway. Um, and, yeah, and it was like, what, really? You sure? Um, which seemed a bit weird. I mean, you know, fair enough. Maybe that's what you wanted to do, maybe coincide it with. But they just look odd together. They just look weird together. They just don't work. He just looks like he's, I don't know, come out of some charity, um, just picked up a suit from some charity um, uh, shop. And, and, you know, she just kind of, I don't know, they just look out of place together. They don't look like a couple. Um, so that's there's that. Um, also, our um, jovial CEO um, of Microsoft, Mr. Bolmer, who um, who has many. Uh, actually, I'll put a link it up up there or the thing up there for his um, developers, 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 developers thing because that's bloody hilarious. Um, it's a remix of him going on about developers back in. Uh, the 2000s like Bomber is um, banging on about um, 500 million users to have Windows 8 in 2013 so he claims um, that's a 40% rise or that you know compared to this year which is 300 um, million users or 300 million new purchases of Windows um, and Windows boxes and things like that licenses of Windows um, I think that's a tall order uh, but I don't know it depends well there's a spider over there I've just noticed this Look at him. I'll squish him later. Um, anyway, um, yeah, so he, Microsoft are changing way too much all at once. I don't like the fact they've got rid of the start menu. Well, they've, they've not got rid of it. They've revamped it. I like the original start menu. What was wrong with that? It was brilliant. I knew where everything was, and now they've just changed it massively. You know, because it's not changed since, well, ever. Since they came out with the first GUI, the start menu's always been the bottom left-hand motherfucking corner. Now I've not got to relearn shit, and I don't like it. I've also There's also no search tab now, either. It, or when you used to press the start menu, you used to just search, straight go, boom, straight into your program. And now that isn't there, either, which I'm annoyed about. Might, mighty annoyed. But anyway, that's that, really. Um, yeah, bottom of reckoning that 500 million users to have Windows 8 in 2013. That is, uh, I don't think it's going to happen, really. I think you'll wish for thing there. Um, it may do because, again, it depends upon Microsoft's position within the market and whether or not people actually buy these um, Microsoft tablets or not. So that is kind of it. I should, link, yeah, I should put links down below of um, different things. Facebook thing, um, Facebook article, Bomber article, and yeah. So that's that. So I shall leave you to it. I may or may not catch you tomorrow, it's an iffy sort of situation, but there you go. So I shall catch you when I catch you, really.